Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Kitty Hawk's wings clipped as Whisk and Boeing press on. Aviation taxi tests Alice after CEO named. USAF to unveil B-21 Raider in December. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Kitty Hawk's wings clipped as Whisk and Boeing press on. Larry Page, the Google Alphabet billionaire, has clipped the wings of his 10-year experiment known as Kitty Hawk. This effort was part of his long elusive dream of developing flying cars. By now, there are several variants out there still trying to make their way in the world, and so it comes as no surprise that this bird's wings have finally been clipped. However, this project will live on in some form through a joint venture between Whisk Aero and the Boeing Company. It was hoped that Kitty Hawk would be a pioneering breakthrough in the market for electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft with a lofty goal of democratizing the skies. A sliver of hope was offered in the shape of Whisk's rotor-powered Cora aircraft at the Farnborough International Air Show earlier this July in the United Kingdom. Furthermore, Boeing has been on record as providing engineering support for a larger four-seat aircraft which Whisk Aero may eventually certify in the United States. It's not an easy market to enter, but with Boeing's big money, perhaps they will crack that shell. Time will tell if their slogan, if anyone can do this, holds up. And after the break, FAA admin nominee named an L.A. corruption probe. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. FAA admin nominee named in LA corruption probe. Philip Washington, the Biden administration's nominee to head up the FAA, has been included in the warrant of a Los Angeles corruption probe. Before his stint in Denver, Colorado, Washington was the CEO of Los Angeles Metro, where he oversaw an $8 billion budget, a 2,200-strong bus fleet, a rail line, and 11,000 employees from 2015 to 2021. That job, as it happens, is central to the corruption probe due to a sole source, non-competitive contract awarded by the L.A. County Metropolitan Transportation Authority. The contract went to peace over violence. Rolls-Royce withdraws from Boom's Overture project. Boom Technology has lost its engine partner, Rolls-Royce. Notwithstanding inconveniences, the likes of non-existence, the aircraft, to which Boom has ascribed the jaunty moniker, the supersonic Overture, has garnered 206 orders amounting to over $4 billion. A 2020 engagement agreement between Boom and Rolls-Royce established, albeit informally, the latter's interest in developing engines capable of motivating the hypothetical overture to Boom's ambitious claims of a Mach 1.7 top speed and a range of 4,249 nautical miles. Parker Hannafin Complete Sale of Aircraft Wheel and Brake Division Parker Hannafin Corporation has completed the sale of their aircraft wheel and brake division, headquartered in Avon, Ohio, to Command Corporation of Bloomfield, Connecticut. Their new home will see the division have a, quote, leader in motion and control technologies, end quote, and move to a, quote, leading manufacturer of components and materials for aerospace, defense, industrial, and medical markets, end quote. The divestment of Parker's aircraft wheel and brake division was completed on September 13th, allowing Parker's Megat acquisition to continue. Air Force clears KC-46 Pegasus for duty. 
The U.S. Air Force has cleared the KC-46 Pegasus tanker for worldwide deployment, passing a milestone for the Boeing project. Air Mobility Command has cleared the tanker for all deployments and tasking, opening the way for the service to use its 60-strong fleet of KC-46s. General Mike Minahan, commander, approved the aircraft while saying, quote, We are ready to use this aircraft globally in any fight without hesitation, end quote, despite some long-standing issues and headaches with some systems of the next-generation tanker. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Aviation Taxi Tests Alice After CEO Named Aviation has been hard at work on their all-electric commuter aircraft, completing their first high-speed taxi test days after announcing the installation of Gregory Davis as chief executive officer. The company updated aviation enthusiasts with a short video of the test, showing their twin-engine or twin-motor aircraft accelerating down the runway with relaxed stability before nosing up and easing the front wheel off the tarmac a couple times for good measure. With the test successful, it was handshakes all around before heading back to the hangar to prepare for the next milestone. The successful test was a fun way to ring in Aviation's new CEO, or would be, had Gregory Davis not already been business as usual. Davis has been Aviation president since May of 2021 and has served as interim CEO since February 2022. His firm appointment as CEO comes as little surprise given a continuous stream of small victories for Aviation. As advertised, their electric commuter aircraft, the Alice, should sport a 2,500-pound payload, 250-knot cruise, and 440 nautical mile max range once complete. Davis, a commercial pilot and licensed engineer, has been a good fit for the company, bringing more than 15 years of industry experience to bear during his tenure at the company. And after these messages, USAF to unveil B-21 Raider in December. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. USAF to unveil B-21 Raider in December. The Air Force confirmed plans to reveal the long-awaited B-21 Raider by year's end, finally showing off the futuristic replacement for both the B-1 and B-2 bombers. The B-21's unveiling will take place at a Northrop Grumman ceremony held at its production facilities in Palmdale, California in the first week of December. The Raider will be an immensely important aircraft, taking a prime position in the United States' nuclear deterrent forces as a highly survivable, long-range penetrating strike bomber. The stealth aircraft will be a qualitative improvement on the near half-century-old B-1, offering a modern, low-observable form factor with all the important accoutrements required to play nicely with today's more technologically integrated Air Force. The last new bomber, the B-2 Spirit, entered service just as the Cold War ended before going on to maintain its position as a one-of-a-kind strike aircraft. To date, no other nation has fielded a competitively low observable bomber, but the Spirit's recipe is likely quite well known to peers and adversaries the world over. Retaining an American strategic edge will require a lot of the next-gen B-21, but USAF Brass believes the Raider is up to the challenge. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.